Hi guys, how you doing all you beautiful people scattered across this magnificent planet Earth? Welcome to my channel. Excuse me. I can't up. Yep, hang on. Take my new buddy. Guys, introducing Ingani. This is my new little puppy. She's harassing me at the moment. But even she just cute, the girl's all piece of loveliness. She is the bomb. Oh yeah. Anyway guys, welcome to my channel. Zuga Kruga. Okay, so today, guys, I'm talking about scooters. Yep. Scooters. I'm sure we've all got a story about a scooter and I'll guarantee you that story is about you falling off the scooter. They're tricky machines. I fell off mine plenty. I used to go ramping it, jumping it. I even used to take it to trance parties, load it in the back of the bucket, go to the party. It was the best way to uh, ride it on parties. All the girls on the back, give me a ride, give me a ride, no worries. So yeah. I enjoy scooters guys. I decided to go on a trip to Japan and the major problem in Japan is transport. Transport is expensive and also to get to all the rural campsites that I wanted to go to you need a transport. So I thought okay let me build a bicycle. I get it by a mountain bike, get a motorized motor, slap it on this mountain bike and just hit the road and tour Japan. However my friend Liz who lives in Japan saw my posts on Facebook and she got hold of me and said, Izuka, hey, are you aware that Japan is full of mountains, lots of mountains? And I was like, really? Mountains? I really didn't really consider that. Uh, that's a problem. I'm not that fit. I don't think, I only got three months, three months on a motorized bicycle. It, it's not going to work. Then I said, well, listen, Zuka, I got my daughter's scooter in the barn. You are, it's just standing there. You're more than welcome to use it, if you like. And I was like, oh, that sounds like an idea. A scooter, why not a scooter? What size is it? And then she told me, yeah, it's a 50cc. And I was like, 50cc, mm, can it do long distance? She was like, maybe. I was like, maybe. I said, I want to go around the whole of Japan. I want to start up here. I want to go up to... Uh, Sunshine Festival, which is high in the Ghana Mountains, and then I'm gonna go all the way around and back to the airport eventually. And Liz says, oh, well, well, you're welcome to use my, my, my daughter's scooter. So I got on the internet, of course, done the research, check in about scooter touring, who's done it, how they done it, can these scooters run, and I found nothing. There was absolutely no tutorials, no information, nothing. Just some guys doing some cool trips on Vespers, but I couldn't afford a, I can't afford a Vespa, so that was out of the question. I'm not gonna tell you much more, because this tutorial will tell you all about a 50cc scooter, the capabilities of this 50cc scooter. It made my trip. This scooter made my Japanese trip. I got like a few here, rural areas, and the best thing about the scooter was you got your own transport. Whenever I got to cities at night is when I do all my taking pictures. Uh, that's when it is really, really quiet. There's not much tourist around at night. Japan is busy, busy, busy with tourism. To get that shot is extremely difficult. You always can have someone standing in the way. So I would get up early in the morning on my scooter, beep, go check it out, take photos. Get some good shots all late at night as well. Late at night, I've ride around Tokyo, checking all beautiful places. It's quiet. You know, Saka, the streets as well, nice and quiet. So, guys, check this out. I encourage scooter touring. Um, if you are in any country, hire a scooter and just go out there and have fun and don't fall. I'd like to take this chance to thank a lot of you that have been following me on my uh, three months scooter trip around Japan. Um, it's been really awesome. I've got a lot of messages on my inbox, people liking my posts, asking me to use my pics, and I really do appreciate that. Um, 
before I started this trip I tried to do some research on scooter touring and there wasn't much info on scooter touring I had no idea how long you could ride these scooters for or how long you could push them and their capabilities so it was really taking a chance so I'd like to do or make this little video clip to show you that it is possible to tour on a tiny 50cc scooter like what I've done I've just completed 3,000 kilometers on the scooter I've been over the Japanese Alps twice I've been in rural villages I've been in mountain passes I've been high up in the most extreme places with this little scooter and this little scooter hasn't skipped a beat I would like to show you this little scooter and my little rig and hopefully encourage more of you to do what I've just done So this is my little scooter, yep, it's a Yamaha Jog ZR50cc, tiny, uh, it is fuel injection, I'm not exactly sure of the year, but uh, it is really economical on the flats, straights, I was averaging approximately 54 kilometers a liter, and then pushing up high up Japanese Japan. Alps, really steep, steep mountain passes. My consumption would drop to as low as 43 kilometers a liter. Coming down the Alps or down the mountain passes, really enjoying the hairpins, uh, my consumption would go as low as 57 kilometers a liter. So, yep, they're really, really economical, really good to use. Big cities like Osaka and Tokyo, lots of traffic in those cities nothing better to be in a city with a scooter they are nippy you know you can get planes you can jump planes in and out of lanes this one has 10 inch wheels the scooter it does have disc brakes so it does stop really well and it's really fun to have uh, in traffic or in big cities uh, like I said I've also got into rural areas Japan is awesome for camping they have a lot of campsites you do need transport to get to a lot of the free campsites but you can camp on the side of beaches as well as uh, riversides and they're pretty flexible with free camping in Japan which is awesome. This has been my home for the last three months. Uh, I'd like to show you uh, my setup while well, what I've been using. This blue bag over here is that's actually a ground sheet. I have two ground sheets over there. Uh, the reason for this is it rains so much in Japan. It can rain anywhere, anytime, any place unexpectedly. And it's if you're camping, it's pretty critical to keep your gear dry. But these blue bags have worked phenomenally. Uh, you wouldn't want to get your, especially your sleeping bag wet. You can't really sleep with a wet sleeping bag. Um, these towels are just hanging up here as well as my shoes and everything drying out. It's nice to air out my stuff whilst, whilst I'm riding. Uh, in here I have my awesome tent as well as a nice inflatable mattress. I have my sleeping bag. I actually have pillows in there as well. It's important to camp comfortably. If you're in a camp, you got to camp comfortably. This is just my uh, camera stand. Coming around this side is a poncho. I do have a, sleep a raincoat. I have a really good raincoat, but I chuck this poncho on top of my raincoat uh, to keep me dry. I have a kidney belt. I really enjoy using a kidney belt. It keeps my back straight. It supports me whilst I'm riding. Sometimes I'll push six hours on the scooter, stop, go, and a whole day on the scooter, you need some support. My backpack would sit back here. I have a nice carry more, 80 to 90 liter a backpack that would sit perfectly at the back and actually act as a backrest so riding long distance and pushing hours on the scooter wasn't too difficult yeah sometimes i'd push in the rain no problem coming around this side is my helmet such a sweet helmet it does have bluetooth so i can receive calls on it in the helmet there is speakers so i can listen to music whilst i'm traveling this is a really important device. This is my phone actually, my navigation. This is what got me around Japan. Without this, I have no idea how I've got around Japan. Reading Japanese maps is really, really difficult and to find a map in English is 
very difficult as well so this has really helped me uh, I've been using maps me but more Google Maps and it's amazing how Google Maps can get you into the smallest villages I'm not allowed well 50 cc scooters are not allowed on highways so I've trusted this to take me through the tiniest villages and the tiniest roads and it hasn't let me down I've got to some really really remote places using uh, this phone device this is just a charging cable what would have been a lot uh, better for me is or if you are going to get a scooter get a scooter with a USB port using GPS on my phone my phone would lose battery really really quickly and the only way I could recharge is sneaking into or going into 7-elevens and ganking electricity if this to charge my devices if this scooter had a little simple little USB port it would have saved me a lot and a lot of hassles and a lot of time charging up my devices this is just on my seat in my seat I keep all my important documents which is my passport as well as my camera and I got a little toolbox in there all my charging cables and electrical stuff that you don't want to get wet and also that needs to be kept uh, safe and secure this black bag over here okay that there actually is my kitchen yep I got a stove in there a gas bottle I keep my food there uh, when you're camping you gotta have coffee man it's pretty important to stop on the even side of the road make some food I cooked a lot of udon udon's Japanese food and uh, made coffee I also kept a jacket in there temperatures can drop quickly yeah in Japan and if I needed to get warm I'll just open up uh, the bag and get um, something warm that's about it I would say on a scooter really really simple really really easy I highly encourage scooter touring places like Japan or probably Europe distances aren't too far it will be a little bit more difficult in Africa Africa uh, distances can be thousands of kilometers between cities like I said the scooter hasn't skipped a beat it's been really reliable I've got into amazing places with the scooter Japan as well I highly recommend Japan for for touring scooter touring really friendly people awesome campsites Neo and Psycho Sugoi Thanks guys, that's a wrap. Hey doggy. Konnichiwa.